Hey guys, so I see so much online about how to actually boost your testosterone through supplementation naturally. And this is a little update to my previous guide last year um, based on the new science on what you need to be taking and the only supplements you need to be taking if you wanna boost your testosterone to any significant degree. So at the moment, the science is supporting two big ones primarily, which are zinc and DHEA. In 2010, a study across 95 chronic renal failure patients showed that 250 milligrams of zinc sulfate across six weeks resulted in a 90% increase in testosterone levels. And another study in older men showed that 30 milligrams of elemental zinc across six months resulted in a 93% increase in testosterone levels. And a lot of studies show that if you're average or borderline low testosterone, but not out of the clinical reference range, say you're sitting at 300 nanograms per deciliter, zinc supplementation, if you're low on zinc or you're slightly deficient on zinc, will significantly increase your testosterone within that range. And this is a really good option for guys who maybe don't want to jump on TRT because they're not technically out of range. Maybe they're sitting at 350 nanograms per deciliter total and they want to bring it up to 500, 600, 700. Could be a really good option for you guys to supplement with zinc. And the second one that I didn't recommend last year, but that new research has come to light to show that it may actually have some effect, especially in older people, is DHEA. Now, DHEA is an important upstream hormone that is involved in the entire HPT axis in the process of cholesterol getting turned into testosterone finally. And DHEA levels significantly drop with age, and studies have shown that doses above 50 milligrams daily have increased testosterone and supported healthy levels of testosterone, especially in older men and older women. So if you are a middle-aged man with low DHEA levels, anywhere from 20 milligrams to 50 milligrams daily can really help boost your testosterone levels a lot and goes nicely with the zinc. So the DHEA and the zinc are the two big ones. The other one which I did include last year is ashwagandha and there is significant research now to show that ashwagandha does significantly boost testosterone in particular around 600 to 675 milligrams of the KSM 66 extract of ashwagandha or anywhere between 250 to 600 milligrams of the shodan extract both of which seem to contain a high percentage of glycosides which in the research have been very powerful and seem to be the key active ingredient at boosting your testosterone levels naturally. And a lot of the research is very consistent over many years that ashwagandha does boost testosterone levels. So this would be a big third one to add if you wanted to boost your testosterone even more. And the fourth and the last big one is fenugreek and I did include this last year in one study supplementing with 600 milligrams of fenugreek daily for 12 weeks resulted in a 12% increase in total and a 9.5% increase in free testosterone in one study and in young resistance trained men 500 milligrams of fenugreek daily resulted in significant increases in both total and free testosterone. So the research seems to support fenugreek just like it did last year and there's no change there. It is still what I recommend if you want to boost your testosterone naturally and a strong supplement for doing that. So after those key ones, I'm going to now go into some supplements that have been marketed online as testosterone boosting and look at whether they actually are or not. So the first one is boron. Now I believe and there are studies to show that boron is important in testosterone, but not directly. It's actually more in the way it interacts with SHBG. It can decrease SHBG and therefore free up more total testosterone and have an increase in your free testosterone. Anywhere from three to five milligrams a day seems to do this quite strongly. d acid is out there and marketed as a way to boost testosterone, but studies are very mixed. One study showed that there was an increase, another study showed a decrease, and then other studies, no change. So more research probably needs to be done to determine whether d acid can have any meaningful shift in your testosterone levels. Now, maca, there is really no evidence for maca or maca root to increase testosterone at all. It did have an effect on libido in some studies, but I think people have taken this and really just said, oh, you know, it increases testosterone because of its effect on libido. But there's no real link there in terms of the studies actually showing that it increased testosterone levels at all. Now with magnesium, it's a bit mixed. It's plausible that magnesium Magnesium helps the enzymatic processes in converting cholesterol to testosterone, and it can potentially make that pathway more efficient, but there have been no real studies that have been done to show that magnesium has any effect on shifting total testosterone levels. However, if you are deficient in magnesium, it's probably a good idea to supplement anyway, because it has a whole host of other effects not related to testosterone that may be beneficial anyway if you are deficient. Tribulus terrestris is one that I did recommend last year, but I'm actually going to move this to a secondary tier of supplement because I don't think the research is strong enough yet to show 
sure that tribulus actually makes any difference on testosterone levels. There were studies that showed that multi-ingredient supplements with tribulus in it boosted testosterone, but studies that have used just tribulus terrestris alone have failed to find any meaningful impact on total testosterone levels. And so more research needs to be done on tribulus, I think, for me to recommend it as a key primary supplement to boost testosterone. Stinging nettle, now there's pretty much no evidence now to show that stinging nettle increases testosterone. With one trial recently showing that over 18 months, stinging nettle had no effect on testosterone. So I think that one's out. I did do a few videos on this a few years ago, but that one's out for now uh, and not a primary supplement. Now, ginger. Now in one study, 75 men from 19 to 40 years old took ginger and they did find a 19% increase in testosterone levels, but the study design was pretty bad. There was no control group and there was no information on dosing, the intake of when they actually took the ginger or the form of ginger itself. So there could be a potential that ginger increases testosterone, but the study design was so bad that I can't really recommend ginger as a supplement to increase testosterone. Vitamin D, some people suggest to boost testosterone, but there's no real evidence that vitamin D moves the needle at all for total testosterone levels. And it's just something that will be helpful in other aspects of your life if you are vitamin D deficient, but in terms of actually boosting your testosterone levels, there seems to be no link between vitamin D and testosterone. And the last one is Macuna prurians or velvet bean. Now there seems to be some limited research to show that velvet bean can increase testosterone levels. Participants in one study who took five grams daily across three months had a 43% increase in testosterone levels. But again, the study design doesn't really lead to me being able to recommend this as a key supplement. Group allocation was not randomized and there were multiple outcomes reported with no real statistical adjustments made for comparing each of the outcomes and variables. So I can't really recommend that as a key line to boost your testosterone levels. So that there you go guys, that's a 2024 guide to the main supplements you need to boost your testosterone with the key supplements to boost your testosterone that are backed in the research being zinc, DHEA, fenugreek, and ashwagandha. I hope that's helped clear up some of the science for you guys, and I will see you in the next video.